Now, it sounds like the stuff of nightmares. A giant super rat that's 76 centimetres long running around your street. But if reports are to be believed, that's exactly what was found on one housing estate in West Yorkshire. Yes, there have been reports of giant rats in Lincolnshire too. It's thought the animals could be from South America, but just how do they compare to other rats found in the UK? The average rat's body length is around 25 centimetres, which looks tiny next to the super rat's 76 centimetre or 30 inch long body. But these so-called super rats are rare. The most common rat in the UK is the brown rat. It's thought there are over 70 million rats here. It's more than the number of people, of course, living in the UK. And there's little wonder there's so many of them. Rats breed so fast a pair can produce a colony of 2,000 Wait for this, within a year. Well, let's talk to someone who knows a bit about rats. That's uh, rat catcher Jim England. Hello, Jim. Good morning. What do you make of that, the, the 76 centimetre rat? That's a big rat. I would be, uh, put it this way, I would be a little bit shocked if I came up face to face with one of them. Have you seen a rat of that size? Not anywhere near as big as that, no. I mean, in old money, I guess the biggest rat I've ever seen in the flesh is probably about 19 inches. Hold on, hold so on. With, with tail. Oh, okay. with the tail. Yeah, yeah. So okay. the, body of the, the, tail. the body of the rat would be what? Probably about show, 10 show inches. Show us Sorry, about 10 or 11 inches long. And then you've got the tail, which is going to be about 7 or 8 inches long. And that's a big rat. So when you saw that, that story about this rat, yes. I mean, what did you, you saw the picture, what did you I, make of it? What kind of rat is that? Well, there's lots of species of rat around the world, and I don't believe it's possibly native to the UK. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not sure what species it is. I mean, you've got cane rats from Africa, which are a very large rat. You've got koi pu, which some people have intimated that it might be. So, um, but it's, I don't believe it's native. Okay, um, we were talking about this uh, this morning before we, we were on air and everybody was just like, ooh, <laughs> right, are we yeah. right to go like that? I don't think we want to cause widespread, you know, um, chaos throughout the UK with but, people taking the law into their own hands. But you're about to tell me something horrible. <laughs> no, 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 I won't tell you anything horrible, not at this time of the day. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is very unusual. Okay. I mean, and, oh. and, you know, I, I mean, my, my sort of reaction is I think they're disgusting because I, th I think they live in horrible situations and, you know, your house is dirty because rats in it. Is that the case? No, no, that's not the case at all. I mean, rats will obviously stick around if there's a food source. So if you are leaving food out and yeah. the place is dirty, then rats are going to do better. But a lot of the time, rats get into our homes as a result of a defect in maybe the drains. You might have a broken pipe under, the, you know, the soil pipe might be broken and they burrowed up into the uh, underside of your home. But it's not a reflection on you as an individual. Okay. You catch rats? Yes. Uh, so what have you brought in here? What's what we've brought in here, just to demonstrate, is this is a what we call a rat box, a bait box, and it's a safe way for us to put bait down in external areas. So the hole, the entrance hole you've is... You've got you've got an entry hole at either end. You've got these areas here so that kids can that, yeah, if we pop it down so I'll let you see uh, that, okay. So there's right. an entrance hole here. This is so that children can't put their hands in because they can't get to the bait. The bait would be secured okay. on a rod, a bit like a, a rat kebab, if you like. And uh, so the bait goes on the rod. I don't like the way you <laughs> smiled when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best term to use, but... Okay, so the rat comes in here. The rat comes in here. There's and something in there. There's bait along That's this so rod. They can they, eat the kebab. They can eat the bait, <laughs> and over a period of time, it, it will prove fatal. But it's just purely so that... Over a period of time, it will be fatal? Oh, I see. So to the rat. Oh, so it's yeah. like poison in there. It okay. is a poison. It's a redenticide, And yeah. then where does the rat go when it's dying, then? Does it stay they in can go. Or? They can die anywhere. That's why it's important to follow up on visits when you're treating for rats. You have to be proactive. You have to go and look for the carcasses you can't just leave them to die because then you get secondary poisoning and just while we look at these pictures of rats we're no doubt giving lots of people the, the sort of collie wobbles at home right. just uh, are you seeing are you getting more calls from people i mean is this a sort of Rat, rats are definitely on the increase yeah we are taking more calls on rats year on year there's been some um, surveys that have been produced over the last sort of 10 years the national pest technicians association have produced one the british pest control association have also produced one and the numbers are growing um, so I don't know if it's a result of you know better reporting of the situation or if the numbers genuinely are growing I want to ask you I want to ask you one on. last question do you like your job love it do you <laughs> I just knew you love were going to say that why else. why do you like this job it's, it's satisfying you know you're, you're dealing with people's problems you're solving you know you're you're, you're if you like you're the cavalry you know uh, do you so. like rats I don't dislike rats <laughs> I mean you've got to, you've got to admire them you've got to respect them because they are they are survivors, mm. so I don't, you know, I don't have a personal vendetta right, okay. against rats, okay. but um, I think they should be respected. But at the same time, you know, we can't live with them—not in our homes. No.
Can't live with them, can't live without them. <laughs> the I can live without them, believe Thank me. Thank you very much. Nice to see you here this morning. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, now, thousands of A-level students who've missed out on a university place now face the question of what they do next. Some might